Hey, April. And how are things? Maybe if I have a shower first. I suppose I can't be too picky. I mean, there's not a lot of things in Summer Bay which do meet my criteria. You just don't want to spend your last year on earth working in a bait shop, I understand that. Mm. Well, as far as the bucket list goes, it's not a very sexy one, is it? No, I'm sympathetic, but you know what, Marilyn? It is a very pretty place and it could be a very good distraction for you. Oh, what? Selling all those poor little sardines as bait, knowing that they used to be swimming around happily in the oceans? Don't think about that, do you? Just think about the things that aren't alive, like rods and string and hooks and... What, well, instruments of death, you mean? Yes, that's nice. Just sell them to people who don't fish or can't fish, like out. Look, Miles... I know I promised Mr. Stewart that I would go and look at the place and have a think about it before I made my decision, but I just don't see that there's going to be anything there for me that's... I'm going to have to tell him I can't do it. Oh. Oh, OK. Well, you just do what you think's best, Marilyn. It's just a shame that the guy who worked there before took off the way that he did. If Alf can't find someone he can trust, he'll probably have to shut shop altogether. I didn't say that to make you feel guilty or anything. I wasn't aware that that was the situation. Business must not be very good. It's really bad. But, you know, don't let that influence your decision. Oh, no. No, I won't. I won't. Oh, it was rude walking out like that. I'm going to have to apologise to your parents when I get home. They're not going to be here that long. It's not bad. It... If you don't tell me what it is, I can't help. It's just, it's starting to hit me. You know, that the reality of getting married. I mean, we haven't even started organising the wedding yet, and already there's major drama. And the thought of, of everyone getting involved, it, my head hurts just thinking about that. And there's your parents and my parents, and they're going to be fighting, and there's going to be all this noise, and, and it's just way too much to cope with. And I've got palpitations just thinking about it, seriously. So what are you trying to say here? Huh? Oh, no. I'm not trying to call off the wedding. That's not what I'm saying. You know what? I just don't want to... I don't want to argue about the cars and, and the photographer and the wedding dress and, and, and whether I should invite my third cousin Nick because he invited me to his wedding, even though I barely know him, or worrying about my auntie drinking too much and yelling during the speeches. And see, here I go again. See, my head just hurts thinking about it. Then don't. Stop thinking of it being such a long list. Look, we will get through this. We will make sure that it isn't a drama. And we'll take it one step at a time. Honey, sweetheart, seriously, as a veteran of two weddings, I really need to tell you, dream on. Here we go. Now, whatever else is going on, tonight I want you both to put it right out of mind. Understood? Savior. Why do you keep ringing me and hanging up? <laughs> you calling you too scared to say anything? No, I didn't. Wait, I'm pretty sure this number kept coming up. Yeah, I, I, I rang in it, it. I dropped the phone and I just hung up on your bikes. And I was going to call you straight back, honestly. Yeah, but were you actually going to speak this time? Hello? Yeah, uh, I'm still here. Good. So why are you calling me? Sorry, I, I can go if you want. I, I wasn't asking you to go. No, it, it's late. It's okay. Oh, Xavier, where do you live? Why? Because I don't think we're doing so great on the phone. Text me your address and I'll come straight over. Hey, 
come in. You just had a shower? No, I didn't. Your hair's wet. <laughs> Don't worry, I like a guy that goes to some effort. Just so you know, my mum's going to be back from a conference any minute. Thanks, I was going to ask you about that. I'd really like to meet her. Well, there's a couple of things I'd like her to know about you. Are you serious? <laughs> Not even a little bit. But you make this way too easy. Yeah, I knew you were joking. No, you didn't. I was just going along with it, so you thought you were really funny. Well, thank you. <laughs> now, how about that drink? What drink? That's your cue. Oh, all right. Um, tap water, OK? Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> Luckily, I was going to get a drink for myself anyway. So, what were you going to talk about when you called me up? If you hadn't dropped the phone, that is. Maybe Irene laced my food with some sort of sedative. Or either that or if she was right. All I needed was a good dinner. Or some time out of the chaos. I am. Um, I'm sorry if I snapped at you before. In fact, what am I saying if? I did snap at you. Honey, it's okay. We will take it one step at a time and we won't let it get out of hand. I know that it sounds easier said than done, but surely, you know, sometime, somewhere in the history of the world, there has to have been a couple that had fun planning their wedding. I mean, it could be fun, couldn't it? Oh, we won't let it get out of control, I promise. We are going to be that couple. We are going to have fun. Yes? Yes. Yes! yes! My sister would seriously go mental if I told her I was signing up for boxing. Well, you just need to tell her that it's properly supervised and my uncle really knows what he's doing. He's a teacher, so it's not like he's not qualified. And I'm going to be there as my uncle's assistant, and I've had a bit of boxing experience that I'd be happy to pass on. Why'd you tell me that? Just in case I needed more of an incentive? No, I'm just saying that it's going to be supervised properly. He already said that. I know, but that's what you can tell your sister if you wanted to join. Well, I think maybe I do. You've done such a good job selling it to me, how could I say no? Are you serious? Am I ever not? Um, so for about 95% of the time. Ooh, that's harsh. No, truthful. <laughs> no, you can count me in and, and yes, I do mean it. Sign me up. So, in other words, you'll do anything you can to annoy your sister? No. That's not the reason. I better get home anyway. So what's the reason? Why do you want to do the class? I'm sure if you think about it for long enough, you'll figure it out. Thanks for the drink. As far as the paperwork goes, Marilyn, there's not much to worry about, really. You just got to make sure that the suppliers get paid on time. Oh, you, you might need another pair of boots, too. Uh, then you just got to keep an eye on the stock levels, really. Make sure you've got plenty of everything. I'm flogging a dead horse here, aren't I, love? You're not even remotely interested. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Mr. Stewart. I, I just don't think this is very me. I mean... I couldn't possibly talk the customers into anything that could harm animals. I'd probably just run your business right into the ground. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, love. I'll find someone to take the job. I shouldn't have pressured you in the first place. Well, what's this, um, up here? Well, uh, the office. Yeah, is that all you use it for? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's full of junk at the moment. I really should clear it all out. Well, yes, I think you should. I mean, this room's got a lot of potential. You reckon? Oh, yes. I mean, if we cleared all of this out of here, Mr. Stewart, I think we could make something really fantastic happen. Well, like what? Well, for what I'm about to suggest to you, I really need you to keep an open mind. That's right. You need to calm down, all right? You're taking this the wrong way. How much clearer does he need to be? If we're not wanted, we're not wanted. We're not going to stay here well, if we're in the way. Well, what's going on? I'm sorry, I didn't realise. Apparently, sometimes I can be intense. Mum. Elijah, please. I'll organise our flights now. We'll be out of your hair as soon as we can. What? We're very sorry. Elijah, but, but what's going on? Uh, well, you know, I, I kind of I kind of told them that, you know, that they needed to take things down a notch, you know, not to be so intense. And? And they 